Tonight, a 59-year-old grandmother getting more than $100,000 after a jury finds she was falsely arrested for shoplifting at a local H&M store. It just made me withdraw from society. Well, she tells us store security grabbed her by the wrist and forced her into a back room. At 11 o'clock, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Kelly Day. Now, Jessica Morker is going beyond the headlines on this settlement. And Jessica, what is the victim asking for now? Well, Kelly, the victim, who is a longtime church volunteer, tells me she never expected anything like this to happen to her. And tonight, she is speaking out, hoping that the store here at Clackamas Town Center will change its policy. After I seen the videotape, it was 15 minutes of me being watched in the store in a dress that I had purchased from them the day before. It happened during H&M's grand opening at the Clackamas Town Center in May 2011. Video we obtained shows cameras focusing in on Brenda Moaning, not just once, but several times while shopping. While paying the clerk, Moaning offers to pay in advance for a $5 jersey at the front of the store and grab it on the way out. Even after the clerk acknowledges the purchase and saw her put the merchandise in the bag. Both of my arms got snatched behind me at the same time. I looked to my left, I looked to my right, and I thought about that I had put the top into the bag. So I said, I prepaid. Look at the receipt. Two loss prevention officers and one H&M security guard forced Moaning into a security room. And according to court documents we got a hold of, told her, you look like a common thief. They made up a story and fed it to their employees that she was uh, yelling, cursing, swearing, threatening lawsuits, and, uh, and the jury didn't believe a word of it. A Multnomah County jury just awarded Moaning over $105,000 for battery, false arrest, and punitive damages. Court deposition video we also obtained shows then H&M manager Aaron Collins on the stand. Sitting here today, do you know if Brenda Moaning was guilty of theft? I don't know. I went to the Clackamas Town Center H&M store, called and emailed corporate communications to get their side, but no one returned my calls. While Moaning was not awarded damages for racial discrimination, she believes she was targeted because of her skin. I'm humiliated. I'm hurt. I'm angry. And back here live now, attorneys argued in court that part of the reason why cameras focused in on moaning was because she had been in the store before and had a bag with her. But ultimately, jurors deliberated for about six hours before siding with moaning today. Live at the Clackamas Town Center, Jessica Morker, Coin 6 News. Jessica